Good afternoon guys, I'm just going to show you a video tutorial in how to use Quant Tower. Uh, by default it doesn't have any data feed um, by default, so we have to add a data feed to the terminal. I believe there used to be Binance was connected to this, but I'm not sure if that's still true. Um, but what I'll show you is how to connect a data feed into the terminal. It's really, really easy, so don't worry. Um, you should have a 64-bit computer by now because we know we're 2022, so you know we should be using, we shouldn't be using 32-bit. We should be using 64-bit really. Um, so yeah, click the get one tower. It's going to ask you for a security prompt because Windows won't know what it is because it's an exe file. I uh, just allow that. And then it'll come up with the access to um, your network. And of course you'd want to allow that because you want it to talk to the internet. And then it will ask for an update. Once that's all done, uh, then you'll get uh, you'll get your quant tower. And this is, bizarrely, this is how it looks. Okay, so um, close this. And this is how quant tower looks. And you're like, wow, it's nothing. It's, there's nothing there. But the whole point is that you add to it. All right, so on this uh, quant tower, button you then add features to your terminal and what's cool is that you can access access other applications while you know you're in the terminal so if you wanted to you could have your charts here and still have access to your desktop apps which is really amazing right um, so once you've installed Quantar uh, what we want to do is simply add a connection to it you can click any one of these uh, I think by default Binance Oh, it's now asking for an API key, which is fine. Back in the old days, this used to be free, but obviously they've stopped that connection, but that's fine. So we're going to use Ctrader data. Um, we can click real. I don't think it matters too much. Uh, connect. And then uh, you want, well, we can, this is the point where you will need to sign up if you don't have an, an account at Ctrader. Um, I assume you may have. If you don't, you can just simply create one here. You can use your Facebook login, you can use your Google authentication, which could be good for you, um, it's up to you. Or you can just create an account, you know, the old standard way. Um, since I already have an account, I won't need to um, sign up for an account because I've got one. So I would click login, right? So, um, uh, there's my user ID. I paste my password in and then I log in. And uh, that's fine. Does it, it wants to access your Ctrader account. Um, there's your email address. Uh, don't forget you guys can contact me if you want to. If you've got any queries, you can contact me here. That's not a problem. And give it full access to the trading accounts. That's fine. Yeah, that's no worries. Allow access. Uh, I guess we want to do that cookie. Oh, it's gone anyway. Right, that's fine. Now, this happened the first time. Don't worry about that. Uh, it says it's not activated, so you go back and then you click demo, connect. And that's how I got it working. So you click live and then click demo. There we go. So that's the little workaround which you might not have known if you're not good at troubleshooting, um, but that's how I troubleshooted it, troubleshot it. And so it's got a um, fairly decent ping, which is faster than my MetaTrader actually. And it's been uptime for eight seconds. So right, let's show you what we can do. So we can close that. All right, we wanna do a, let's have a look, got loads of stuff. All right, we can do stat, a stat matrix. So if you wanna look at correlations, we can do that. We can look at the market heat map. And then what we wanna do is um, click add symbols. And um, I don't know if you wanna add FX, it's up to you. Let's add indices. So we can um, shift, hold shift and click click the tick button and it's just going to grab that data um, by default it's not going to show you much because the C trader doesn't have um, volume metrics by default so we want to do change percent wow Nasdaq's up three <laughs> percent um, so that's that so then we can do um, tree map and then you can see how you can see how it locks in which is quite nice bump it locks into the panels it's really cool so let's use the use case scenario where you do want access to an app on your desktop just leave it there all right and you can 
mess around with that if you wanted to. Uh, let's go to uh, TPO chart. Let's go to um, gold, maybe. Right, and then we can format this. So maybe that's too large. Maybe maybe we can bring that over there. It's all customizable. It's really good. So that can maybe come down. Uh, and that's that. So it's really good. And so we want to look at gold, right? Well, I don't know if you do. It's up to you what you want to be looking at. I don't know what you're trading. Um, so the following node here, so might not be the greatest example, but it's pretty cool. Uh, really rocketed off 1790. Check your monthly pivot as well. Um, let's show you Aussie Yen so we can get the two things to align because I showed you in the screenshot earlier. Um, double click. There we go. Zoom out. And I think maybe this. Whoa. Okay. And so yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh well, wow. it's gotta get used to get used to this. So um yeah, it's the point of control here and it marks it out. And considering it's free, it's pretty good. Uh you can link this to your IC Markets live account, you just have to fund it. If you use the affiliate link that I've got in this video, then you know you'd be more than welcome to use that. It's up to you. And so that's just the demo on how to get the data feed into Quant Tower. So it's dead simple. And um Perhaps what I can do is a second part here, and I'll talk about the other features because they're absolutely amazing. So, um, yeah, it's just it's ridiculous. I think I'll probably talk about the stat matrix for the next video. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, have fun.